Greetings to all of you striving full stack engineers, myself included, uh, security guy lost in ACI land. Uh, my name is Goran and um, I come to you from the security BU. Um, we've been doing uh, ACI security series here for quite a while and I wanted to give you an update on the 4.0 version of our uh, ACI security lab. Um, we have delivered this lab as training in Cisco Live Barcelona and there you can find this uh, link to the lab guide including also uh, scripts that we're going to use in this demo. Um, so with that I want to mention that uh, there's also a validated design that you can review that includes the technology uh, with ACI, multi-site, uh, next-gen firewall with Firepower 9300 and unmanaged service graph and uh, also goes over the rapid threat containment with APIC and titration. As we've had for quite a while in this lab we use both ASA and FTD device packages that work on all of these appliances you see here as well as the FMC remediation module for ACI. This is a quick slide just on all the versions and gear that we use in this lab. We're at 6.3 version of FTDs um, and the new device package that will arrive uh, pretty soon here on Cisco.com includes multi-instance support and configuration of the MAC address. The ASA device package just got posted and uh, amongst many features we now include context name matching within APIC uh, for those contexts that have overlapping uh, management IPs. With that, uh, in this lab we're following pretty much the same uh, uh, workflow of using templated configurations, uh, developed Python scripts from uh, Tenant XML. Uh, the new demo that we're including here is the demo one is represented here which is run pretty much the same way as a script to configure all the contracts and service graphs. The difference with our demo one now is that basically we had looked at a much simpler design for you where we can use uh, a single bridge domain with EPGs in the same subnet or different subnets which still point uh, for their gateway into an anycast gateway within the fabric and we leverage the PBR service graph as a one arm to basically drive um, a slice of that traffic between these EPGs defined in subject B here and these uh, filters that you see there uh, to come to a firewall and that traffic to be inspected uh, so this subject B under the contract has a service graph applied and then you also have a subject A which by those two filters uh, doesn't have a service graph and allows traffic to run line rate through the fabric. So this is your problem resolved of my firewall is no longer slowing down some of these protocols. It's allowing them to go straight line rate through the fabric while we can pick and choose protocols that will come to the firewall for full inspection. So in demo one, I'm going to show you how we can apply this template. And again, uh, best way for you to kind of uh, look at this configuration is to pick up the scripting from the link I showed you and uh, modify it for your setup and apply uh, that type of uh, tenant into your APIC in a test environment so that you can look at the, all the configurations that are there. But in this case, we have the same footprint in terms of an outside web app and DB EPGs. And this time we're using a PBR service graph with FTD that is now shared across these different contracts that you see here. Outside the web, web to app and app to DB all use the same service graph. And this device has a single one arm interface that all traffic is driven into and comes out after full inspection. Web and app EPGs here are on the same subnet and they have a common SVI that uh, uh, endpoints uh, 
point their routes to and database has a different subnet here and obviously has its own SVI in place there. So let's take a look at that environment here. I have um, an HA pair of virtual FTDs that uh, basically have no configuration here. Interfaces here are pretty much blank. And I have a policy in place which um, has a single rule with uh, layer 4 ports and it has a uh, malware policy applied uh, which we're going to take a look at later as well as uh, part of the remediation exercise itself. So here you can see that uh, FTD rule 1, it has no security zones. Here are the layer 4 ports, it's uh, allow action in place. Here is our uh, tenant with EPGs uh, defined. Uh, we don't have any other configuration. And here we have our web application and database VMs, which are testing the three contracts that I mentioned here. Uh, they will turn green once those contracts are working. So let's get on with our demo here. In a demo one directory, I'm simply going to run this uh, one bash script, which calls this PBR tenant uh, Python script and applies in one go full uh, XML configuration um, to our tenant. So here's that configuration that's been executed. If I take a look at um, contracts and I can see that there are three contracts created, so I'm going to refresh this uh, app profile topology here, and I can see that each of the contracts has a layer 4 through 7 service graph, and it's actually the same device that's used uh, for all three. So here are the service graphs, just to quickly take a look here. This is your subject A equivalent, which is a fabric only subject. So it includes just ARPs that go straight through. And I'm actually inspecting these uh, four protocols all in the firewall. The three contracts pretty much have the same configuration there. And if we take a look at our services here, we will see that there is a single uh, service graph in place. Um, we have just one configuration there and we have a single FTD device which is really an HA pair that um, is used as part of this uh, environment and inspection. As uh, APIC has applied its configuration what is happening now is that APIC is using the device package to apply configuration uh, into FTD and here we can see that um, it's actually completed its API config and it's already pushing configuration onto FTD devices. So just to quickly review here what is being configured we have a single interface here in place and we have an IP address and also MAC address that's uh, um, easier to use um, same MAC address is pushed into the appliance get the custom MAC as well as the APIC is told to actually redirect traffic into it we have a single security zone that you see here uh, defined for that interface it's uh, also uh, includes the name of the zone the tenant name and the device name and if we take a look at the policy that one rule that we mentioned earlier um, simply has the same zone applied into both. So you can see that uh, right there. Coming back to APIC here, we have a single FTD device that's managed and it's a go-to, so it's a routed device. Uh, just to quickly review the configuration that we mentioned, um, we do specify in the function profile the policy name the rule name that our security zone is going to get applied to. And um, if I just try to show you here in edit mode, um, there is an interface one, one interface I call here that has the IP address. So here's that IP address of the interface. And at the same time, we do have static routes 
um, that we can define and this is basically your default route pointing uh, back out to our uh, Anycast gateway. Uh, this is within the same bridge domain that I showed you earlier. So that is our configuration of FTD inside APIC. And if we take a look at our deployed devices and graph instances, one difference that you can see here is that we have a single deployed device here with its own uh, VLAN tag used for it. But we have actually three service graph instances in place here. So here, if we expand each of them here, the function node itself, it's going to show some of the shared um, parameters here. Um, these shared parameters will help us uh, basically accomplish this shared service graph. So if I remove one of these service graphs, the config of the device is not going to get removed until all service graphs have been removed because obviously APIC would understand that uh, we do have that config uh, you know still needs to be present on the firewall for traffic to be inspected by remaining service graphs so while we were talking here I see that service graph uh, has been deployed on the device and the FMC had finished the deployment and I can see that uh, we have connectivity between out to web um, web to app and also app to db uh, epgs so we now are starting to see full inspection and are redirecting traffic uh, from all three contracts into our next gen firewall here if we take a look at our device here uh, we no longer see the exclamation mark so that config had been applied and under events we can now see um, basically ICMP traffic uh, uh, coming uh, to our FTD. We see uh, basically all three segments that I had uh, uh, EPGs that I showed you, as well as the outside uh, segment uh, on campus that goes from outside to web. So that's the demo one and the new um, topology that uh, we are showing you. Uh, in our AC security lab. Um, look forward to seeing you in Cisco Live San Diego. Thank you for listening.